I feel like this is dream city. Asheville is the perfect place for people to land softly, get their feet wet, and then give back. It's really great place for establishing certainty. I started here at the Double Tree in a house person position. I was really just looking for a regular job where I could just work and help my mom pay some bills at the house, but um, this turned out to be so much more than that. It's changed my life. We just bought a house recently, my wife and I did, and we have two kids, and so without the opportunities that I've had here at the hotel, I don't think any of that would have been possible. Grew up in Leicester, has seen this town evolve from very small, nothing quaint to big, flourishing, beautiful city. Got started here at Twisted Laurel three years ago. I started as the assistant bar manager and then very quickly moved up to bar manager. With having a daughter and being a single mother, you know, in Asheville, I have been extremely blessed to have this. With food and beverage, I love it so much here in Asheville because it is growing. It is constantly evolving. We're constantly having to keep up with, you know, what's new, what's hot. I've known my whole life I'm food and beverage, in and out, you know, and it was a conscious decision to make it the career, to take what I'm what comes natural to me and do it for a living. One of the reasons why I chose Biltmore in particular for my career path is because I knew that I could take everything I had before getting the job here and then learn while I'm here and really just put it back into giving back to the guests. Here at Biltmore, there's a ton of training opportunities. There's a ton of career development classes that we do and just so many things that I've been able to take advantage of throughout the years. The majority of our upper management, they'd be directors, our vice presidents, folks that sit on the executive committee, many of those leaders did start um, as an entry-level position within the company. We don't refer to employment with Biltmore as a job, we do refer to it as a career. We have about 2,400 employees now, so quite a few folks that really benefit from our guests coming in to this area. Our opportunities are truly limitless. I tell students first day of school, why not you? Why can't you be making 100,000 a year in eight to 10 years? The opportunities are here. Two graduates, one lady, Glenna, she's the uh, now in-store marketing manager for Ruth Chris. She graduated 15 months ago. Uh, Jackie's the general manager for the Creamery and the Barbecue Shop at Biltmore State. It's just more and more these students are out there and they're being successful, there's so many. These students graduate with skills that translate right into industry needs. I've gone from an intern, um, and I'm very fortunate now to sit on the executive committee um, as the director of revenue for the resort. It's nice. Um, you start to get the respect from your peers around you, and they're kind of the ones pushing you up and pushing you forward. Asheville does provide those kind of jobs that pay more than possibly even a higher trained technical job might in another city. Tourism is the reason that at least 125 people have jobs with us that we're able to provide health insurance to our staff and sometimes to people that have never had it in their working lives. In Asheville, because there's room for a lot of different kinds of restaurants and a lot of different kinds of jobs, it does allow somebody to stay somewhere and really do well, really be able to do the right thing for themselves and their families. When we moved here, we were traveling craftsmen, and so we do shows all over the country. The last few years, what's happened is that we are able to bring all that 400 galleries all over the country and instead focus into this little region. We did not think that would ever happen. We are open here all year, which would not have happened, you know, 20 years ago. We do have those people that stay on all year, especially help us with groups or, um, or weekend visitors and in mountain bikes and rangers and zip lines. I've seen my employees be able to buy their first car, be able to buy a car for the second person in their home, buy, you know, so they're able to, you know, 12 months a year be able to depend on an income. I'm a part of that dream. I'm just a regular person who came here almost knowing no one 14 years ago and thought, oh my God, am I gonna make it here? People who lived here helped me, watched me grow, and applauded when I did well. It's so vital to share these career stories of people that have been successful, because people need to see that connection and understand just the, that that could be their story. 